Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we are doing a little bonus to our PS freebies for this month. This is something that's going to be a little bit different and it's going to probably happen more often than not every month because this is games that you get on PS Plus in Hong Kong. Yeah, we, they, they get different games. I mean, it makes sense. Like, matter what country you're in, you're going to have different games. But this one, uh, this month, there's like a couple of games that I'm going to show to you guys that obviously have been released somewhere at some point within the EU and USA communities, but we just have, we haven't got it for free yet, so it's kind of a nice little look to look at something different. And um, I was going to start this with like a random joke about these guys here. Do any of you guys remember the show? Denny's No Alien Nation? Yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I think it, it's a Gene Roddenberry show, isn't it? Was Alien Nation and Gene Roddenberry, it was actually like his thing? No, that was actually Project something or other. That's Project Eden or something afterwards. But yeah, Alien Nation was an idea of aliens that integrated into um, the Earth society and ended up becoming like cooks, cleaners, cops, whatever else. And uh, I think it was meant to be a little bit of a touch on like um, Native American reservations and immigrant culture and kind of like saying those things without being really racist. I don't know. I think the show was uh, interesting for its time. But uh, I would recommend checking it out yourself to see what um, what it was like. But uh, just just that head. Look at those heads. Like just look at that mud for a start. <laughs> That's what this show is about. It was about that haircut more than anything else because it's about his haircut and him not having the haircut on the other side. Oh man, I love that show. So obviously the reason why I'm doing Alien Nation jokes is because the game up here is Alien Nation. So let's take a look at it. Uh, from what I know of Alien Nation, the game, it is a third-person shooter action game uh, that you play through and fight off waves of alien enemies. Uh, essentially, a um, top-down, loaded, reloaded, smash TV slash um, Space Invaders style wave game. I don't know what other way to describe it, but I'm, I'm, this, is what, this is what my opinions of, are of it from passing glances of press releases and material that has actually appeared over time. Well, we gotta try harder then, folks. As we develop our armor for us to wear. Ah, Unix. Finally, the word was compiled together. Because Commander has already fallen, the XCOM project has failed. Whoop whoop! Let's go shoot some shit! Go Marines! <laughs> Alright, let's see what Indian Nation's got for us. So, uh, whoa, okay, this is a little bit more impressive than I actually expected from my first sign of it. Uh, local co-op, of course, challenge modes, customization, leagues, weekly missions, wow. Um, hmm. Oh, oh, are, is this is this actually an XCOM style game? Whenever I see permadeath, ah, uh, oh, all right, normal mode it is. So I'm going with bio specialist, which is rush healing race poison cloud tank. You can take it damage rush shield ground smash tesla charge saboteur rush camouflage plasma sword artillery strike bio specialist and healing. I believe I'll be taking. Let's get ourselves a nice purple people eater. Flying purple people eater. Flying purple people eater, motherfucker. Eh, and these people eater on the inside. So what have we got here? Oh, squad. So you can actually you go online and grab a squad if you want to do uh, onlines. I'm supposing that's interesting. So um, yeah, you can create a squad. But I, I think I will go to training and just give this a try out to see what it's like. Why, thank you very much, lady on the speakerphone. Alright. So imagine it was. Spinny, 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 spin. Whoop! And spinny, 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 whoop! And spinny, 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 spin, spin, spin! Oh, okay. 
Okay, well that's, that didn't help. Oh. They boost. Boost! Nominal because we're on the lowest settings. Billy! Ah, uh, so it's a winged circle of melee. Nice. Oh, nice bounce. Flame grenades. Yes, sir. And that's how I get out. All right. Well, that's problem solved. So pretty much it's um, a pop-down shooter. Definitely in the same vein, uh, just twin stick shooter where you, uh, you look with one move, you directionize with the other, and you shoot while you move. Yeah, exactly what I expected it to actually be. <laughs> Um, imagine this being a lot more fun and hectic whenever you have four players on screen. So, what was the, um, what was in Contra? It's, uh, Contra is a 2D side-on. What was the top-down one that was actually, always, that was kind of like this back in the day? Woo, success. Okay. Okay, is somebody else in here? I recognize all the people's names. It must be all the people that are on my friends list. So, oh, okay. All right, cool. Uh, rookie. Let's find a rookie that actually has four. All right, we'll jump in this guy's game. So you can just jump into all the people's games. This is awesome. I'm looking forward to actually ruining somebody else's game for them. <laughs> Bring it on! This is a little bit more intense than procedural cop drama. It really is. I'd say it's better. <laughs> Can I just go? There we go. Woo! Oh, we're not alone. Oh, shit! Alright, they're not going to revive me, are they? No, they don't give a shit. Thank you. Well, that's nice of them. This is one guy ran on, but it's the other rookie who actually came back to help me. <laughs> Keep shooting! Oh, no! Ah, oh, god damn it. Got trapped, and both of us are down. That guy's not going to come back to help us, is he? Oh, he is! Fair play to him. Yeah. He's going to worry more about clearing out these people. Oh, man. This is actually pretty intense. I got my ass beat. Boom. Right, this guy's pretty good at what he's doing. He's having to fight a wyvern. Oh. All right, so I'm assuming he's got, like, multiple weapons to switch back and forth from because he's actually customized the hell out of his character. That's... Closer range. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Survive, dude. Oh, he has this kind of throne blade thing. Very cool. Well, <clears throat> you have your fun there, buddy. Oh, he's almost got him. Oh. Oh, man, that was so close. Oh, pity for you, dude. What? Oh, so he, like, decided to quit out because the um he didn't get a com complete mission on the first try. Well, sorry to 
Ruin your game, dude. You're level 18. Like, we're level 1s. What else are you expecting us to do? <laughs> well, that was an interesting start to battle. Let's see if I can get into another one here and try that again. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for another rookie game. Level 1 as well. One, so we'll jump in with this guy. Hey, right, let's rock and roll. <laughs> so, armor ability one. So that's it, because I haven't been given those kind of controls. I haven't been told what I can do with my armor ability. So, one, two, or three. That's interesting. So, um, run nice and fast and catch up with him. Buddy? Alright, so I'm assuming I actually need to recharge in some way, shape, or form whenever I'm doing this. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out! I'm oh, sorry, dude. Oi! That was close. Assuming there's like a reload button I can hit that actually makes me able to reload that faster. This seems to be actually like a lot more intense than I expected it to be just for like the opening start of a game. Alright, so I think we're surviving reasonably well here. I'm all low. Are you serious? Oh, crap. Right, so R3 to actually reload, that's what that is. So I'm going to run out of bullets for this gun on my note. Uh do 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 come on. Um the <laughs> it feels like this could be unbelievably challenged while also very semi at the same time. But the world looks pretty nice. I like the design of the characters. Creatures are obviously like um Whoa! Themed on something in particular. I Alright, so it's nice. Tell me how to do quickly reload about halfway through the first level. <laughs> you know where you're going, dude, because I'm following you. Oh, hope he knows where he goes. Hope he knows where he's going. He's done this mission at least once before with somebody. Got him with a grenade. Happy days. Whoa! Uh, that was close. Um, I think we managed to take those guys down. Sweet. You lead the way, man. I'm still following you. <gasps> oh, not smart. Goodbye. Alright, so that's a good thing. We've got multipliers all over the shop. Happy days. Nice, I'm starting to get used to this reloading as well. The problem is reloading is actually going to make me use up my gear faster. What's in here? A 
not be days C four. That's our second stage already kind of like set up. Gotcha, fucker. Ah, uh, so this actually feels quite gratifying as a twin stick shooter. Um, I love the fact that it's uh, it is pretty much multiplayer. So if there's a continued base of players for this, I could get stay on board with this for a little while. Um, great, great PS Plus game. Uh, especially because of multiplayer. That that's uh, that's the one that I've actually been missing out on a lot of the PlayStation Plus experiences for the last few months it's been feeling like a, a very solitary space that uh, as much as I, I love single player games and I don't really get into multiplayer games but they're always ones that actually required you to kind of have at least a base knowledge and you weren't immediately thrown in with somebody which this feels like um you're definitely playing with somebody in the arcade you're just playing you'll be playing with randos majority of the time you're playing this because you can't really take all this on alone wow Oh man, this is pretty intense. Uh Oh man. Alright, I think this is the way we're going to be going? No? You tell me, buddy. Uh, there we go. <gasps> oh! Hot floor! Yeah, he's just waiting for that to burn. I don't like this molten lava bullshit, man. We going this way? Okay. Oh, right. He's going this way. That was close. Uh, do you want to go back down here where they were coming from? Because <laughs> there's nothing else there for us. Alright, leading the way. Leading the road. Leading the way. Here we go. Ugh. I don't like your thingy bobber kind of like bleedy blood. Are you not meant to go this way? Alright. Whoopsie. Sorry about that. Don't leave me behind, you fuck! <laughs> this way! Alright, fair enough, I'm following this dude wherever he wants to go. Might as well. Nice. Oh, was I meant to pick those that stuff up? No, no, wait. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Did I just leave a whole bunch pile of shit sitting on the ground? Oh, no. No. Well, that was kind of fun. <laughs> 
So, Blood on the Ice, first mission of Alien Nation Down. Concept-wise, this is well executed. It is simply a twin-stick shooter that actually has very, very solid controls. Um, slightly overcomplicated with a lot of stuff that you can actually continue to be adding to make yourself pro-MLG at it. With a level of customization that um, is kind of impressive. So, well, that was us to victory. Happy days. Turn that down slightly and maybe take a look at the customization features for your um, characters. And there we go, upgrades because I got a couple of points. So, what do we get in the abilities? We have ability trees to work our way down. Poison cloud, healing, wraiths. Oh, that's the uh, spinning thingy. Athlete, warrior, and survivor. So I'm assuming those stats would actually like level up your um, ability. Let's see what primary weapons, secondary, we don't have one. Equipment, remote grenade, just color set. So, yeah, pretty much. Uh, you level up, you get gear. I'm pretty sure I was meant to pick up weapons there, and I didn't. So I messed up horribly at the end of that level. So, um, yeah, I made a stupid mistake. Uh, shout at me for that in the comments. But yeah, this is, uh, uh, yeah, healing is what I wanted to put it in. Make sure that goes through. Yeah. Oh, I have more points to spend. Oh, okay. Uh, Reefs. No, on these points. There we go, Grand. Uh, there we go. Out, out, out. And can I get out of this screen now? Oh, there we go. Let's just throw on the credits while I have we uh, chat to you guys. Yeah, this has been Alien Nation as part of uh, PS Plus freebies for the month of January. This one's available on the Hong Kong store. Now, I highly, highly, highly recommend anybody who's actually looking to have the cheapest PS Plus experience possible uh, get to themselves a Hong Kong account because you can play online if you want to play online. If you don't care about building up your gamer score or anything else and you just want to play like a lot of people I know do, uh, then you can go for that. It's the cheapest option, so it works out at $28 per year. Or PS Plus, and you get, of course, get these games. You get all the themes and all the backgrounds and everything else. And the Hong Kong store is in English, and you will have access to a variety of weird games. You have, of course, a, a lack of access to some games that are available in the West as well. But um, I've shown you some weird stuff on this channel, like Starry Nights and um, Icy and stuff that are actually only available in the Hong Kong store currently. Or, of course, on Steam if you went and got the, went to get them on PC. Again, the Master Race always wins out. But um, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been another PlayStation Plus experience uh, here on Pastiche of Skin. So um, this has really been a cold open episode. So if you actually feel like you enjoyed this cold open and would like to see more, you hit the subscribe button right up there and it'll appear up and it'll actually make sure you get to see absolutely everything that comes out in the channel on YouTube. And if you look over on this side over here, there's a bunch of videos of stuff that I've done here on the channel. So recent videos and the cold open playlist and a couple of other things. You make sure to actually hit those and check them out as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.